Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun and the smallest planet in our solar system, is often thought of as a lifeless and barren world, but it is actually a fascinating complex planet that has intrigued scientists for many years. In this video we'll explore some of the unique features Mercury has to offer and answer the perplexing question as to why Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, is not the hottest planet in our solar system. Mercury is one of four terrestrial planets along with Venus, Earth and Mars. It has a rocky cratered surface, has no moons and is located only 36 million miles from the Sun. It has a highly elliptical orbit that takes only 88 Earth days to complete, earning itself the name of the swift planet in the process. However, in comparison, one rotation on its axis takes a staggering 59 Earth days to complete. As you could probably imagine, being so close to the Sun, the temperature of the planet is extreme. However, the extremes in rotation and orbit contribute to temperature difference extremes over the planet's surface. The temperature difference between the day and night side of the planet is over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 610 degrees Celsius, with the day side reaching 800 degrees Fahrenheit, whilst the night side reaches minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. These temperature differences have a significant impact on features of Mercury's surface. For example, on the day side, the surface of Mercury can get hot enough to cause rocks to expand, crack and fracture, creating a heavily cratered landscape. Whilst on the night side, the temperature on the surface drops drastically, causing rocks to contract, forming ridges and cliffs as the cooling and contraction occurs. Mercury has a weak magnetic field and the magnetic field of a planet plays a crucial role in protecting its atmosphere from being stripped away by the solar wind. If a magnetic field is strong, it can deflect the charged particles of the solar winds around the planet, preventing them from reaching the atmosphere. However, if the magnetic field is weak like Mercury's, the solar winds will penetrate the atmosphere easier, ionising the gases within it, making the atmosphere more vulnerable to being stripped away. Due to this thin atmosphere, Mercury has therefore little protection against impacting objects from space, and over billions of years it has been bombarded by countless asteroids, comets and other space debris. This has resulted in Mercury being considered the most heavily cratered planet in the solar system, the cratering of which is on a par with the crater seen on several moons. Mercury's craters range in size from small, bowl-shaped craters to massive impact basins that are hundreds of kilometres in diameter, the most prominent of which is the Colaris Basin. This crater is one of the largest impact basins in the solar system at about 1550 kilometres in diameter. It has a central peak ring, a circular ring of mountains that were created when the ground rebounded after the impact that formed the basin, along with a series of radial scars that extend out from the centre of the basin. These scars are thought to have formed when the shock waves from the impact propagated through the planet's crust. By far the biggest cooling effect of Mercury's temperature is its lack of atmosphere. And as mentioned earlier, Mercury's lack of a strong magnetic field has played a significant role in stripping the atmosphere from Mercury. Without a thick atmosphere, Mercury can't retain heat energy as it does not have the blanket a thick atmosphere provides, which will allow for some of the heat energy to be reflected back towards the planet's surface. And so, the lack of an atmosphere on Mercury means that the mantle of the warmest planet in the solar system, despite being twice as far away from the Sun as Mercury, goes to Venus, which will be the destination for my next video.